Hello, I'm back with yet another way that you can make a watercolor slash gouache travel kit. As if there aren't enough out there already. But at the store today, I did find one that I had not yet seen anyone do. And I thought it was really cute. Plus, the same aisle, I found something else that I'm like, hey, those are... Well, let me just show you. Look at that. You see those facets? Is this a schminky? Probably not. <laughs> it's very, so isn't. It's so not. Um, this is a soap box that I spray painted, which I actually, I don't like. I don't like it peels off. I don't like this. But um yeah, it's just a soap box. You know. It's kind of kind of thick. It's this thick. It's pretty thick, you know. See, the other thing, once you paint it, it's hard to open and close it. But an Altoid tin fits in there, you know, with a little bit of room. And then this, this is one of the, um, the gift card tins you could get at Michael's. So this will fit in that with a little bit of wiggle room. You know, um, yeah, and so I don't like, I don't like this, I don't, it's making a mess everywhere, I'm not happy, but, um, I'm probably just gonna put some, I don't know, black duct tape or electrical tape on this, and, um, just to keep the light from penetrating so it doesn't ruin my paints, but yeah. And then the paints are in these little containers. I didn't put any anything in here to stop the rolling around. Um, I guess I could. Nah, it's fine. I don't really care. Let me see. No, well, that just looks dumb. Anyways, but yeah. So. These paint holders are actually pill containers. That's not, you know. This old thing, right? But it only fits six in here, so I took an exacto knife and sliced off one of the days, and then just painted it white and stuck it in there. Um, yeah, you don't have to paint it. Obviously, it'll hold your paint, do its job. If you want to keep it in one of these, you can keep the seventh day, and the whole thing will fit in there. If you like having a lot of paints and it'll fit. Three. Three of them. It'll fit in there. So you could have 21 paints. And the size is. Um, you know about twice the size of a half pan so you could get about a full pan's worth of paint now this thing is super thick right so if you're gonna go with half pans you'd have quite a lot of room left Whereas these 
fill up that whole area. Which makes sense because they're, you know, twice the size. Um, but what I was thinking... Look at this. All this mess from that spray painted stupid... What I was thinking is you can fit 18 half pans in this guy. Um, right? Six across, three down. They're going to wiggle around a little bit, you know? There's going to be some extra room on the sides. But if if you wanted to, um, here, I'm going to show you this after I'm done. It's some paints, I, uh, not paints, um, brushes I got today. But it's the only thing that I got that's going to show the point. You could have a thing like this in here, you know, just cut it down here like this. So this part will be underneath this row of paints. And then the top part right here will have half pans attached to it upside down. So it will just sit in there and then you can flip this over like that. Right? And it'd be on the other side and you have like 18 more paints on this side. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of explaining this. Um, I hope you understand what I'm saying. You could potentially have... 36 paints, 36, <clears throat> yeah, which is a good amount if you like your half pan sizes and you want a lot of paints, you know, that's definitely a way to go. So yeah, soap box, I think it was $2.99 at Rayleigh's. And uh, if you have, I saw a video on this because I was wondering some of my ones that I paint with a lacquer that has like a lustrous finish, I can't get paint to stop beating. But if you take like a nail file or a buffer and like scratch out a little bit, you know, just a little bit, it'll make it more porous and so paint won't beat up, get beaded like it normally would. But yeah. So that's this one. There you go. Come on. And the center here is super big. It's really thick. So you could put uh, maybe a couple brushes and a pencil, or you could have it all at the top or at the bottom. You know. It's actually a really neat case, and you can get a lot, a lot of paint in this. A whole bunch and a whole lot of different setups available. You could have nine half pans, or if you go with that flippy thing idea, you could have 18 half pans or 36, I mean full pans, 18 full pans, and nine full pans if you just go with one. Or, um, you know, actually... You might be able to get more full pans in here because of this shape isn't the shape. No, yes, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, so this is about, yeah, no, no. Um, nine, half, nine full pans and 18 full pans. Or you could just get these ones, which are super cheap. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how much it was. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's whole, when it comes to pill containers, there's a whole bunch of bot, like variations of those that you can try. And they all slice fairly easily with a exacto knife. So, that's the old pill box, folks. Oh, where is this stupid? And now, just a quick little thing to show you guys, because i never seen this before anywhere at all, but I ran into this at Ben Franklin Art Supply Store and Framing that's here near me. Um, 
it's a brush set and it looks like that. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Um, it comes with three flat brushes and four round ones. You get a size eight, a six, four, and a two. And it comes in a thing like that. It was $27.99. It's by Jack Richardson and Company Incorporated. I never heard of this brand. I didn't know that they existed, to be quite honest. I just saw it there, and I'm like, ah, I'll give it a shot. Um, it comes with its own little stand. And uh, it feels so sturdy. At the checkout, the lady I was talking to, she was like, yeah, this thing is insane. She has way more brushes than it's supposed to be holding, and it's not a problem. It's super sturdy and durable. And um, it has this lacing here. You can see that. So this mechanism is you open it like this, and you flip it like that. And see that? You got that, and you got kind of like a drawstring here. Pulls it together, and then you'll have a paintbrush stand, right? So, this is them. They feel really soft. They, and the size, was about the size of a Sharpie. And uh, yeah, for a travel water brush, if you want to get one of those flat kits, you know, it'll go in there real nice. Um, I don't think it's, yeah, it's not going to fit in one of these. And the body, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like a wood with a brush metal finish. What it feels like is like an aluminum, a brushed aluminum. I'm not sure if that's what it is, though. Lightweight. Um, what I do like about it is I'm, I'm pretty sure... It's some kind of a metal, which would be nice because then, you know, you can dip them in the water past this point and it would protect it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if it says what it's made of. I know it's synthetic bristles, but where would it say? Ensemble de voyage. Ugh, so pretentious. Anyways, I have no idea. I don't know. Don't know. But I like it. That's what I do know. <laughs> I do know that I like it. Um, I don't know why but it feels just slightly more soft than the synthetic bristles that I felt so far on brushes. Um, kind of like between the sable and the synthetic. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Pretty excited about these. I really like this. If, uh, I get like a little pouch to go on the side with me. This will fit nice and easy and portable and I don't have to chop off the ends. Um, yeah. There you go. Let me see. All right, you guys have a great day. See everybody later.